All right, let's talk about atomics operation. Atomics means that everything pass or everything fails. So there is not middle, um, there is no middle operation or half complete operation. So one really nice use case that where we can apply a batch drive is in here. Let's say that we're going to create our purchase ticket feature in here, which means that we need to first check if there is a stock available. And if there is a stock available, I want to decrease the quantity that I just bought and place an order. The order is going to be here. And we first, I'm going to validate that the, um, what is this? Okay. First, we are going to validate that each time that we are going to create something into the orders collection, we are going to pass this payload that we see here where we are going to pass the ticket ID. We are going to go to the ticket collection with that ID, get the stock property, and we're going to compare that against the quantity property that I'm passing. And but basically, I just want to make sure that I have enough in my stop right so let's see how that looks like and this is not going to work anymore as we just mentioned uh, so the batches it looks more like this so this means that i'm going to make i'm going to call this method would have access to the update and the set and method and i'm going to put you more info about this on the description of the video and I'm just going to pass the reference and the object uh, that I want to copy. In this in this case, I'm just going to decrease the quantity of the stock using the field value increment that I teach you before. And later, I'm just going to execute my copy order, um, my copy order document into the orders collection. So um, this way, if one fail, the other is not going to be written at all. So let's see if this works. If this works, yeah, the order is going to be processed. But uh, if I try to buy, let's say, I'm just going to try to buy 100. And we just know that, let me, let me reload this. So we have access to the order. Cool. We just saw that the order was placed. And the stock is seven. That's, that's just not a good point. So we'll try to buy 10. And the stock is seven. So this should fail. Let's see. So yeah, it failed because the first security rule didn't pass. Um, and let's say that this. So yeah, that is great batches in a nutshell. You can set up to 500 operation in here that, and everything is gonna be executed in an atomic way. Everything will pass or everything will fail. This is a nice resource that you need to have under your belt. There is several use, use cases for that. On the next video, I'm going to teach you about transactions. See you later.